Hold on. What's Pinocchio doing in this video? You're gonna find out by the end. Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up, bro. Let's get it over 500 likes, bro. We can do it. All right, we got a couple of dope Nintendo Switch news items for this video, but the first one should pique your interest. Have you been complaining about Nintendo's online services? Do you want more than NES games? Well, it looks like Nintendo is hearing our cries. I think this is pretty dope and foreshadowing of things to come. Nintendo has announced Captain Toad Treasure Tracker will be free to Nintendo Switch Online subscribers. Now, a couple of caveats, but this is why we should still get hyped first. It's going to be just for a week in Japan. So this is, they're starting this first in Japan. And it's for the week of August 5th to 11th. This is why this is dope. It isn't a demo. It isn't a nerf version. Only two stages of the game. It's the full game. You'll be able to play and literally beat the game. Because most dudes will be able to beat this game in a week. You're getting a free game to play for an entire week. This is a dope step in the right direction. I told you guys, the online services we currently have won't be the same online services five years down the road. Nintendo's going to slowly implement and add new things. And I think this is pretty dope. A good incentive. Who's going to complain over a free game, bro? Now, I already know what you dudes are going to say. Oh, I'll be winning. On the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox None, we get free games every month. But, you it's a little similar and not the same. You get to keep those games forever, yes. <laughs> but you only keep those games as long as you're subscribed to the service. Now, I think Nintendo's just testing the waters, trying different things. I mean, we do get the NES games, we can keep those forever. But, for them to even be considering a larger, this is almost a triple A, it's close to a triple A game. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is a dope, dope, dope game. You're pretty much getting a free game to play for an entire week, no limitations, and it lets us know that again, Nintendo is willing to try something new for their online services. A lot of dudes really want Nintendo 64 and Super Nintendo games along with their online services, which I think is eventually going to come but I thought that this was pretty dope that we're getting a free game and Nintendo knows that there's room to improve on the Switch. What other games are they going to start giving us for free to play for that week? I am going to hop on this. I have a Japanese account on my Switch. It's really easy to set one up online. I'm going to download this game and I'm going to I'm going to have it for free for a week. So I thought that was pretty cool. And so Nintendo's improving their online services. Um, again, this is only in Japan. We'll have to see what announcements they make in the West. They might try a different game. Odyssey for a week? You ain't going to be able to beat Odyssey in a week. But I think this is a win-win. For gamers, you get to play this game, probably beat it in a week. And for dudes who get to, to try the game, like, you know what? I want this game permanently on my switch you probably pick it up and buy it so i think that's pretty dope 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 thing that nintendo's doing right now we only have the nes games <coughs> which i'm a fan of these nes games most of the nes games some of them were duds but this is what i grew up on i think that it's pretty dope that we have our own nes library within the switch as long as you keep paying for their online services all right next news item torok 2 has been announced for the Switch Turok 2 Seeds of Evil. Evil. Evil will be coming August 8th on the Switch. Pretty dope. 
We already have the first Turok game um, on the 64 on the Switch. Turok 2, another Nintendo 64 game. We just got Doom 64. Ha ha ha. Nintendo 64 games. Nintendo 64 games are coming. That'd be dope. I'd take Mario 64 um, free on my Switch. As long as I pay for the online services. But dope, dope, dope. Another cool addition to the Switch, especially if you were a Turok 2 fan. I was always more of a Golden Eye 007 dude on the 64. But hey, the more, the better. Next news item. This is why Pinocchio is in this video. Two, there's actually two companies that get a Pinocchio for this video. The first company is Activision. And I think y'all know who the second company is about to be. But first, Activision. This is what they did. They released Crash Team Racing. A solid racing game. Don't get me wrong. A solid racing game. Still, as I said before, my biggest, my biggest disappointment of 2019 has been Crash Team Racing. Why? <laughs> I bought this game primarily to play online with friends and most of the times you try to connect with friends online, it says not joinable. So online is broken trying to connect with friends in this game. And so I feel like I wasted my money. I really want a refund on this game. Now, to add insult to injury, they're adding microtransactions to the game. They started this whole Nitro Grand Prix thing where it's sort of like a um, how Fortnite does their battle pass where you have different tiers and you level up yada yada yada. You unlock different things. But bro, <coughs> why this is shady and why they get a Pinocchio is they got their reviews. They got, oh, whoa. We're getting all of this content, all of these cars, all of these characters, and IGN gave them raving reviews. Kotaku, GameSpot, they got the reviews in. And then they put in microtransactions after the reviews. That is shady, bro. That's why Mario Kart will always be the king of carts, Crash. I'm just saying, bro. Nintendo would never do something as shady as this, bro. I mean, Nintendo sometimes does do shady stuff. I ain't gonna say they don't. But Nintendo has been good with... Look how Nintendo did the DLC for Mario Kart 8, bro. Afterwards, and the, the price was so low, and the amount of content we had, like the new cups each time, that's how you do DLC. Not this shady stuff, adding in microtransactions after we buy the, they make sure too we buy the game first then add in microtransactions and after reviews shady activision you know what you're telling me the next time you come out with a product don't get it obi-wan because we're gonna do bait and switch on you this is the classic bait and switch pinocchio now speaking of baiting and switching e a EA, you don't just get a Pinocchio. You get a big Pinocchio for this one, bro. EA, their support of the Switch has been horrible, to say the least. They were asked why they don't support the Switch. Listen to their response, and you'll know why Pinocchio is right here. <laughs> this is EA. Anytime we're evaluating platform conversations, we're really looking at a couple of things. One, does the game really fit the profile of that platform in terms of the control or the community ecosystem? Two, do we think the community playing on that platform would appreciate the game and go there? Or would they prefer to play it somewhere else? We have a lot of data that would suggest a great many Switch owners also own a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One or a PC very often choose to play the games that we make on those platforms even though they have a Switch and they enjoy a lot of great content on the Switch. In a nutshell, they're saying, <coughs> the reason why we're not putting our games on the Switch is you already got a PlayStation 4, an Xbox None. That's why we're not going to bother to put... Now, to their credit, um, 
a lot of dudes have Madden on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One because those are the only platforms that you have the game on. The reason why you get a Pinocchio EA, <coughs> I remember EA saying it was because of the Switch install base. I forget where, but I remember in an interview somewhere they were talking specifically about the Switch install base. But you know what? The Switch is about to pass or, or has already passed the Xbox None. And so they can't use the install base excuse anymore. They can't say it's because the Switch's install base is so low, we don't see the value in putting our games on that platform. That's what they said before. But now that the Switch is hot, Pinocchio comes out. Oh, it's because you already got the game on the Xbox. Bro. Then why put Madden on mo on mobile platforms? Huh? 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 Why is there a Madden mobile? Why put Madden on the Vita? Y'all put Madden on the Vita, bro. You know what was popping when the Vita was coming out? Was out PlayStation 3, the Xbox 360. Dudes had Madden on those platforms too. You didn't use that excuse for the Vita. EA. Oh, you lucky I don't have a poop emoji. <laughs> because you know what? Yeah, we're gonna put a poop emoji in. Just for just for EA. Just for EA. <sighs> the scent is strong with this one, EA. Alright, last, let's end it on a positive note. Let's end the video on a positive note. Another Rabbit's game has been announced for the Switch. Rabbit's Adventure Party Chinese. That's the name of this trailer. I don't know if that's the final name of the game, but this is going in along with Nintendo's announced partnership with Tencent to bring the Switch to China to enlarge enlarge the Switch's install base. So, Rabbit's Adventure Party Chinese, a party type game, Mario Party type game with rabbits in China. Right now, it seems like this is just launching in China, but we'll wait and see. This is more than likely <coughs> gonna come out in the US, or else your boy has to create a Chinese account. I don't know how to do it, but we'll figure it out. All right, dudes, what do y'all think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I wanna know, but before you go, bro, Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We are bruh. You're going to go right here, right under Pinocchio's nose. That's right. That's what you get, Pinocchio. Take a whiff.